Are you looking for a reliable way to improve your bone density so you can avoid osteoporosis? If you are, then this video has the answer for you. My name is Will Harlow and I'm the over 50s specialist physio here at HT Physio in Farnham. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you one exercise that you can use every day to improve your bone density. Now, before we dive into the topic of today's video, please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel using the buttons below if you haven't already. Now let's talk about bone density. So my clients, the clients that I treat, are typically over the age of 50. And for people over the age of 50, one of the biggest risks to health later on in life is osteoporosis. And osteoporosis is a condition which basically means brittle bones. It means porous bones in Latin. And basically what that looks like is instead of being solid, the bones start to take a more honeycomb-like appearance and they break a lot more easily. Now, it's not much fun having brittle bones because if you fall or if you slightly trip and put your hand out and try to catch yourself, you're at a much higher risk of breaking something than you are if you have strong bones. So people with osteoporosis are not just more vulnerable to falling, they're also more at risk of having pain because <clears throat> osteoporosis can cause pain. And it's just a very miserable place to be for many people. Osteoporosis is also really common. It's more common in women, particularly after the menopause, and it can be caused by many things. Some of them we can help, some of them are genetic. But if you can avoid it, you're going to typically live longer, have a healthier life, and be able to be more active in your later years. Now, let's talk about ways to improve bone density. So before we look at the exercise, the other thing to mention is that diet is really important when it comes to bone density. So if you can increase your calcium intake and you can start to supplement with vitamin D for most people, and you can also increase the minerals like zinc and other essential metals that we have in our diet, you're going to have a much better chance of fending off osteoporosis. It's also important to get enough protein, to get enough iron, and as we've mentioned, to get enough calcium, which you can typically get from dairy products and nuts and things like that. Now, the other part of the bone density equation, if you like, is exercise. So just walking and weight bearing and making sure that you're staying active is a great way to encourage more bone density because whenever we walk, whenever we weight bear, it stimulates the bones to lay down more bone tissue because your body's basically saying, we still need these bones to function so it keeps them strong. Now there's another way that we can improve bone density aside from just walking. And that's with a specific type of exercise which causes the bones to lay down even more bone tissue than walking alone. I'm gonna show you what that exercise is now. You can have a go at it at home providing that it's safe for you to do so and you can see how you get on. Now the exercise we're going to do to improve your bone density is called a jump squat. Now jumping has been shown to be really good at improving bone density. And the reason it's so good at improving bone density is because it causes a lot of force to go down through the bones, which stimulates the process of the cells in the body laying down more bone tissue. So if those cells are stimulated, they put down more bone, kind of like bricks building a house, and the bones get stronger as a result. Now it's really simple to do. I would just recommend that before you do this, you make sure that you don't have any hip problems or knee problems, and you should also check with your doctor first before trying it, just to make sure it's safe for you. Let's have a look at the exercise now. You're gonna put your hands on your hips and you're gonna have your feet about shoulder width apart. All you're gonna do is you're gonna sit down like this and then you're gonna push up and land. Okay, simple as that. So we go down into a squat, only about 90 degrees, then we push up, land, back into a squat. So down, up, and down, just like this. Down, up, and down, just like this, okay? Now, this exercise doesn't need to be done lots of times over. You can do this five times in a row and then come back to it later in the day 
as many times as you feel able. And the jumping action is really good at strengthening those bones, but it will also strengthen these muscles, which are very important for the function of your knees and your hips, and can keep you mobile, keep you strong, and keep you walking for longer. So that's the proven exercise for bone density. It works really well for strengthening up the bones and you'll also get some extra strength in the muscles as well as an added bonus. So that's all we have for you, to, for you in today's video. I hope you've enjoyed the content. And if you'd like to get more from me, you can always pick up a copy of my book. It's called Thriving Beyond 50 and you can get your copy using the link below this video. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate your time. If you have comments, please do drop them below the video. And I look forward to speaking to you on the next one.